started doing your work, did he get in touch with you? Did the family get in touch with you? How did, they, how did you make contact with him? Well, Mike, uh, the, the email you uh, got from me that in the, from 2005 was the, I, I had a website and I posted every month I had a video and I had a database from this is what I got and uh, people around the world sent me VHS tapes, uh, cassette tapes, CDs, and I sent something back and they don't have. So that's the way the database grew. And Michael got sick and um, was aware of the website and thought on a day, I'm going to write to, uh, to Louis. And, uh, and so he took the initiative to, to write to me and I came home from a gig and I was in tears in, in tears behind the uh, because he was ill of course and uh, and that he took the time to write to me so that was the first contact and we wrote to each other I I posted on my website uh, how things were going with Mike when he was ill uh, and I, I talked to him should I write this and should I write that so he moderated a bit of what I could tell and what not. That's very important. It's all very, very private, of course. And um, when Mike uh, died in January in 2007, uh, the management uh, mailed me or called me, I'm not sure, mailed me uh, that they are we're going to do a memorial in February of uh, 2007. And they needed a video of concerts um, for, for the 10 minute clip they and they were going to do. So I said, well, I'm going to uh, uh, copy my DVDs and send them to you. And well, back in that day, it wasn't too easy. So it had boxed, boxed and sent to them. And it took, well, it, it took about a week. So it was almost too late. But they made a, made a compilation of that uh, along with a, a talk from James Taylor. And, um, and I, I talked to uh, Daryl Pitt and I, and I asked, asked, could we come? Yes, of course you can come. So we, me, me and my wife uh, uh, flew to the uh, memorial and we were for three days in, uh, in, in New York City. Uh, very humbling and uh, with, with all the all the great talks. Uh, I was very touched by the by 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 Sam, his uh, son, who was very young at, at the time, and his speech was was so great. And um, so that was, and I, I that's where I met Susan and Emily, and um, so that uh, that gave a boost to the things I do. At, at, at this very point, he, he we all know the he was he was into the Bul Bulgarian thing where, where you did a podcast on, podcast on, and I have um, from Susan there was also was a, a CD ROM in the in the in the box, and on that CD ROM were logic sessions. The um, and. I do have logic on my computer, but we are 20 years further in time. So I tried to open them. And with some luck, I, I could compose it. I, com I could compile it again. And there's Mike uh, doing his uh, fragments of Bulgarian music on soprano. So he, he, tend he tended to do his demos on soprano at home, maybe, maybe because he was ill, it was it's a lighter instrument, of course. It's not not per se easier to to, to play, of course. But uh, those were so. So there are. It's not. Uh, they're only just uh, fragments. But uh, that's that. That was also new to me, and that's new for everybody because no one has heard that but uh, me, maybe, and Gil Goldstein, and. Um, and there's probably lots of music also written. I don't have that, but uh, that that could be in the archive. But uh, we'll we'll get to that in a couple of years. But I wrote um, 
uh, in reaction on the, on a post on the Facebook page uh, about the um, uh, Klaus Ogum Klaus Ogerman LP Cityscape that they should do uh, a reissue with uh, with with all the, all the music because at at Patterson in the university there are the part my parts with his notes so that could be if they do that again on LP on a big uh, and you, you can you can uh, through uh, see his notes and, and maybe and maybe and maybe a website with more information I think the current time we we can do that. Uh, no one is inter interested, of course, because there's no money in that. But <laughs> it would it would be great to 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 see something like that. Yeah. Some things transcend money. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my whole collection. <laughs> it only costs me money. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, you get something out of it, though. Yeah, I'm I'm a happy. I'm a happy man. <laughs> you know, something that can't be put into words, or can't you? No. Can, can't put a dollar value on it. No, if 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 all the if if uh, all those people on the internet uh, in the Facebook group like what they see, and it's, I don't think nine uh, nine or ten ten thousand people are watching it every day, but if if thousand do or five hundred, it's great to to to. To uh, to present something they didn't hear um, be before or a story that's it's nice to please some uh, the the people with great music. <laughs>